You're sending out cold messages trying to get clients, but it's a ghost town. They're opening your messages and they're saying, get the hell out of my inbox. What I'm going to show you today is going to stop you from losing thousands of dollars per week. And it's going to be the same reason why you can get rid of all your subscriptions for cold outreach and instantly and text blasting messaging and doing all that extra stuff. OK, so what you're going to learn today is a few things. All right. I'm going to go over how you can send just maybe like 10 emails per day instead of a thousand emails that'll get you money instead of booked calls. All you guys are hyped up on these book calls and these meetings and crap, but it's not converting into any, any money for you, okay? So no more annoying outreach subscriptions, warming up uh, domains and emails and doing all that extra technical bull crap when you can just send... 10 code, well, not code anymore, emails. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So number two thing you're going to learn is what to say in a code email that makes it hot instantly. So there are sneaky elements you can include in your code messages that automatically provide trust and place you as an authority, curing skepticisms automatically as well. All right, number three an example outreach script that you can use to pull in thousands of dollars, all right? Just this week, all right? And I'm gonna give it to you for free, all right? So you can simply copy this script, switch out the industries, and it will be overwhelmingly effective. But first, why should you copy what I'm gonna show you today? Maybe I'm just some loser that don't know what he's talking about. Well, that's not true. We've been around since 2015. You don't care about that, but we've been getting results since 2015 as well. This is one of my students. The base of his site is making $10,000 a month. That's just on like AdSense type stuff like that. For, but from this site, he also does deals, huge construction deals. And he also uh, uh, sells leads from his site as well, okay? So that's like a six-figure to seven-figure site right there. Then we have Kim right here. Within 24 hours, started getting results, making thousands of dollars, guys. That's why you should be listening. So now, now there are seven attention triggers that instantly make your cold outreach hot, all right? This is why you no longer have to send out thousands of emails per day. It sounds exhausting. It makes my head freaking hurt. You understand what I'm talking about? When people say, oh, warm up instantly for two weeks. I used to preach that dumb stuff too. No, we ain't got time for all that. All right. So seven attention triggers that will instantly make your code outreach code. So automaticity, activate the senses. So what do we mean by that? All right. We're going to use words that activate the senses um, all right. They can help make up your uh, make your communication more engaging and memorable. All right. These are sensory words and sensory words evoke imagery. All right. So you want to be able to get them seeing what you're saying. Like Cassidy said, my words like movies, you can see them when you play them. Right. Like, <laughs> OK, so feelings and experiences, experiences, that keyword right there, because a lot of Cold email, cold DMs is cold, <laughs> is robotic, is not like you're speaking with a person. They don't have a feeling from when you send them a message. Like, what can you do? All right. So now next, we want to do framing. All right. So contextualize your argument to appeal your audience. All right. So A, understand your audience, knowing their values and concerns. Tell your argument to what matters most to them, not to what matters most to you. You don't need to tell them all about you and what you do and how you're happy they accepted your email. Oh, how's the weather there and all of that bull crap that most people do, all right? No, it's about them, okay? So tailor it to them. Use their language. So this might take a little bit of research for you guys, but guess what? It's 10 times better than setting up instantly, buying domains, from hosting providers and doing all this extra stuff when you can just take 10 to 30 minutes and learn about the people that you actually want to partner with, right? Speak to them like you actually know them, okay? So watch this, use their language, speak in terms they understand and relate to. Speaking with a realtor is gonna be different from speaking with a plumber, but you guys send out emails and DMs the exact same way, all right? So define your objective, be clear and 
like be clear about your goal. Know what you want to achieve and keep it in focus throughout your argument. All right. So now C, what you want to do is structure the argument. Start with a strong opening that captures attention and clearly states your position. Present your main points logically and coherently. Use evidence examples and reasoning to support each point. Summarize your key points and restate your position, emphasizing the benefits of importance of your argument. Now, a lot of y'all are like, hold on, this must be <laughs> like, we're going to send them a narration, like a narrated book, a story. Like, is it really possible to do all of this stuff in just a couple lines of an email? Yes, it definitely is. And I'm going to give you that example in a minute. You're going to literally see all of these points inside an example code email. Or it's not really code anymore, is it, right? All right, so D, use strong evidence, facts, and data. Provide reliable data and facts to back up your claim. Now, three, disruption. Break expectations. And just a little preview, down here is, is like... This is the email right here, but we'll come back to that. I just want you guys to know that I actually got it sitting there ready for you, okay? Pause. All right, so break expectations, okay? It's things that they already have made up in their mind when they open an email from an agency, guys, okay? So you want to break expectations. You have to break their thought patterns. Extreme personalization, and this is why you can't use these tools, these blast tools and stuff. Now they're coming with some good AI right now, but as of this year, guys, you can't personalize every single email. You might be able to switch out their name, maybe include a, a few elements that make it a bit better, maybe 10% better than your typical email blast, but it's still not extreme personalization, guys, okay? We want extreme personalization. That's what's going to get them to respond, all right? It helps uh, because they know you didn't just scrape and blast the same thing to everyone. Now, even though we're in business and everything and it's not an actual relationship, nobody wants to be just another Oh, I bet you send that same message to all the girls out there, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's what they think. Like, oh, so you just sent this to everybody. Even though you're like, duh, I'm, it's a numbers game. They don't care. They don't want to be just another person on your damn list. They want to be important enough. So this is another thing you can do. Challenge their assumptions. You let them know. Hell, I bet you thought I just sent out a text blast or a blast, didn't you? I bet you didn't know I know too much about your company, did you? I I bet you didn't know I was sitting in the front row at the movie theater that you own, did you? Right? Like, yo, I'll, I'll get them. Like, I'll let them know, hey, the street, like the interception, you know, uh, uh, the intersection uh, of your street is this and that. You know, you got a Popeye's on the, on the block of your street and you got a car dealership at the other end. Like, dog, it looked like I'm standing outside their building. They're like, yo, this dude did not blast this message out there. You understand? So give a fact about their company that maybe even they forgot about. All right. So next reward, you want to create desire. Okay. So in order to do this, you must fully first fully um, and completely understand their pain points. All right. Then you use a combination of relevant storytelling and relatable metaphors intertwined with your solution okay so the story can be something like yo this party bus company was failing man like they were like three weeks from closing they were getting all these notices and everything about closing down and everything and they were trying to get loans from the bank nothing was happening nothing was working but then they ran into us and we said whoo man, your situation is horrible, but let us see what we can do. We cracked our knuckles and we rolled up our sleeves and we plugged in our solution and ta-da, this company is still alive today, right? So <laughs> that's literally how you create desire. If they got that pain point. They're like, man, I want my story to end out like that, right? Okay, so now reputation, established credibility. Now this is simple, guys. This can be as simple as including testimonials, as you just saw I did a minute ago, or name dropping someone you're connected with that they know of. So, for example, if I'm trying to get um, auto, I mean, Jiffy Lube, 
If I'm trying to get Jiffy Lube as a client or a partner or something like that, I will name drop AutoZone. Yo, it's something that AutoZone is doing that you're not doing. And the shame is uh, that you're right across the street from AutoZone and I see cars go into AutoZone way more often than they go into your lot. It must be embarrassing being across the street from AutoZone and seeing that, like it, you're admitting defeat, you know? <laughs> But I have insight, like I have insider information on what AutoZone is doing for those cars to turn into their lot more than they're turning into yours. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to book you on no strategy call or no meeting or nothing like that. Uh, if you're by your computer right now, I'm going to send over a demonstration of what we're doing to get the cars going into AutoZone. When can you watch this demonstration? Boom. There you go. All right, so now mystery, leave things incomplete. You want to give them enough information to know you're not a scam. Also, you want to give them enough information to know that it's clear that they have a problem because most companies think they're doing good until they're not. And that there's a solution out there that they haven't tried. They haven't tried the solution or they wouldn't have the problem, okay? So this makes them curious. All right, so next, and then we're going to get to the example email. I know everybody's ready for that, okay? All right, next, we're going to acknowledge, okay? So you want to acknowledge, um, uh, contribute to your audience's identity, okay? So reference a personal goal of theirs that they will, uh, that they will be, that will be achieved faster if their problem is fixed. For example, um, you know, McDonald's used to say, over 6 million uh, served or 6 billion served or something like that, right? If you see something like that on their site or on their social media or you hear them name dropping, yo, this year our goal is to do this for this many customers or something like that, boom. If your solution is something that can enhance or speed up the time in which it takes for them to achieve that goal, then mention that. Like, yo, reference, yo, uh, we also heard in your speech that you're trying to do this this year. This would be perfect for what we have for you, right? Like once we fix this, that goal that you named in your speech will come way faster, okay? So this encourages them that you acknowledge their deepest desires and that they're not alone, that you're willing to tag along side by side on this journey with them. Now, dun, 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 the time you all been waiting for. We're gonna look at the example email, okay? So email, including attention triggers. So we used a party bus for this example because this was one of the niches we teach our uh, anti-agent, uh, anti-agency students, anti-job students to make money with, okay? All right, so here we go. This, these are some companies in Atlanta. You might recognize them if you're from that area. So remember all of the triggers we talked about, the attention triggers. Most of you guys started off with, hey, hope I'm talking to the right person or to whom the, uh, may, this may concern or some crap like that. No, 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 no. First off, I want to hit them with an attention trigger. And there's really no bigger attention trigger than these two words right here, your indicates to them that I'm talking to them specifically. So it, it makes it feel more personalized. Now I'm not just blasting this out. And then it doesn't get no more personal than their actual name. Oh, so they know I'm talking to them specifically. Okay. So your uh, legacy elite and their wow party bus. So what am I doing? I'm putting attention triggers and I'm putting uh, uh, trust uh, triggers in there so that they know that I'm not scraping this. They know I'm not just blasting this out to everyone. I named one of their competitors. So they know for a fact that I at least went as far as to like researching who they are and who their competitors are. Took the time out, okay? So your legacy elite and their wild party buzz are right next to each other. So what am I doing right there? I'm creating... 
friction. I'm creating beef. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, nobody wants to be compared to someone else and nobody wants to lose to someone else. So I said, wow, party bus, and you are right next to each other. Now, remember what it said about acknowledgement. They want to be the top black owned party bus companies in Atlanta. So I said, you're both black owned. Now, we're going to go to the part where it talks about mystery and curiosity. I say there's just a few things they're doing to steal easy bookings right up from under legacy elite. So now they're like curious, like, yo, what are they doing that I'm not doing to get all those bookings? Then I say even go-go party bus. So if it wasn't clear that I researched the area and their competitors before, now Without a shadow of a doubt, they know that I know what I'm talking about. So I said, even Go Go Party Bus is getting more bookings with this. We already know that this, without giving the actual name of what it is, it, it breeds curiosity. Okay. So now there's also specific connections they have that make these consistent bookings grow their monthly revenue. So what we're doing is we're trying to create an environment for them to want to purchase from us. We're trying to create an environment for them to want to know more and they just have to hear what the hell we're talking about. Why? Because we're going to give them something, okay? Now watch this. Remember, remember it said, one of the things that had to be clear is that they have a problem. Most companies don't think they got a problem. As long as they're surviving, they're not panicking. That's a bad thing because survival can end quickly, okay? So watch this. I'm letting them know that all these things that these other companies are doing is was uh, putting them in danger. So I tell them that's a $137,912 per year revenue leak, okay? I did this, I did it strategically, guys, okay? And nothing I do is just off chance, like it's all strategic, okay? So them, this right here, makes them think I actually sat there and did the calculations. And then I put this word leak right here instead of telling them they can make money. Nobody wants to lose money, right? Like you don't have to, you know, everybody want to make money. They say they want to, but when it comes to uh, gaining the motivation and drive to go and actually make the money, people are lazy. But when they think they're leaking something, your car leaking uh, yeah, your cup is leaking, you know what I'm saying? Your refrigerator leaking or, or your bladder is leaking, whatever it is. Whenever you feel like it's a leak, you like, oh, snap, I got to hurry up and fix that. I got to hurry up and plug it up. So I'm very like, yo, I was a, psych a behavioral psychology major. You understand what I'm saying? So I know what I'm doing. So this makes them think that I actually calculated how much they're like losing and this right here like without a shadow of doubt lets them know that they're losing money right we actually want them to gain that much and you're going to see that in the next part but there if we tell them that they're losing that they'll they'll be more keen on taking action so we tell them you have a hundred and thirty seven thousand dollar revenue leak that we can plug with a simple one month see i'm including details because I'm answering everything. I told you in this little small email, I was going to answer so many questions, then not. See, this is why you want to get in the agency, the partner program in the first pin comment. We show you how to be a genius like this, baby. And it's simple. Okay, so we answer everything. How how difficult is this? Is, it gonna, is this going to take so much effort? We say it's simple. Okay, how long is this going to take? Because we ain't got all day to be paying you guys one month. Okay, well, well, like how much is this going to cost? Because we don't have a big monthly budget, 15K. I don't say 15K per month. I just said 15K. This is a product. This is not me getting them as a client. We don't get clients. That's the old agency model. We get partners, baby. Okay, so 15K solution. You guys, and, and, and we framed it. Remember we talked about framing? All right, we said the big number first. So that this number wouldn't seem too much. If I come in your house and your roof is leaking and I tell you that you have, oh my God, if you leave it like that, you're going to have a $50,000 or $60,000 re-roof uh, 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 
you know, bill on your hands that can be fixed today for only three grand. Three grand don't sound like a lot because you just told me if I don't fix it, it's going to be a fifty or sixty thousand dollar pro problem. You see, so <laughs> this is a way of making your high ticket stuff seem small. Frame their problem, their real problem, as, as something gigantic and the solution as something tiny. All right, for if, if you had, if you did marriage counseling, right, and you wanted to sell your high ticket marriage counseling package for you know thirty fifty thousand dollars or something like that if you just tell them hey guys i have a fifty thousand dollar marriage counseling package they're gonna be like whoo man that, that's a little hot right there you know i don't know if i can do that but when you add up the fact that he's going to have to part ways with two houses three cars plus child support plus alimony and he's going to be working for the next 10 years just to maintain his living and hers, which would come out to millions over the next few years, possibly, depending on like their lifestyle and stuff. Then fifty and $30,000 is nothing. Do y'all understand? So we're doing all of that psychology in this small little email right here. OK, so now watch this. Instead of saying it made uh, what we have made somebody some money, we're going to use it. We're going to flip it. It kept Wild Party Buzz from missing out on an extra 140K in the past 90 days. Do you understand? Because I'm showing them that they're missing out. I'm showing them that they're missing out instead of telling them what they can make. Ooh, yeah, you, you want to, they're strangers. So they don't trust you. They don't believe you and doing all of that extra stuff. So it's easier to take them, like, like go with their pain points and try to take them away from that versus trying to take them towards pleasure. Like if you frame it like towards pleasure, like, yo, uh, you gonna you gonna be living a good life, you know what I'm saying? You are gonna be on the beach, you know what I'm saying? We are gonna automate your party bus and do all of that. <laughs> Yo, they don't believe you. They don't know you. You're a stranger. But if you, if you like, dog, think about it. When you go in a doctor's office, they're a complete stranger. But since they're hitting you up about pain points that you know that you have, you just gotta deal with that doctor, don't you? You just go and take the prescription that they recommend, not knowing what's in it, not knowing the side effects, the ingredients, none of that. Just because they're an authority, they have credibility, and they know your pain points, and they framed it as your pain, taking you away from, let me heal your wounds. That's what they framed it as versus, hey, you want some more energy? You want to be like hella healthy? You want to be the most fit person on earth? Like you like, dude, get out of my face, right? Okay, so this is how you do this, okay? So now, like I said, for you busters, no, I'm just playing, but for you agencies that have all of us on calls with these people, getting, you know, like dog, do you walk in Walmart and have to get on a call to buy some you know, food or something, or, or or do you have to go in Nike and get on a consultation to buy some shoes? Why are y'all doing this to us? You're making all this stuff like difficult. You causing friction. You putting a barrier between us and money by training the local business owners into thinking every time they want to purchase something from an agency that they got to get on some stupid damn call. Like, no, stop doing that, man. Right. So they're busy and you're busy. So I even addressed that because remember, we talked about breaking, uh, uh, breaking uh, expectations. Right. Uh, um, you know, disrupting their thought patterns and stuff, normal thought patterns. They're always being asked to get on the call. So guess what I said? Everyone's busy. No need to book a call. <laughs> See, they're like, huh? What? Uh, they never say that, right? So let's get straight to it. If I sent you a five, uh, I said five demo. Here we go. Let's fix this live. If I fix, if I sent you a five minute demo clip showing this fix, we can, we use the words for a reason, guys. They have to. It has to be clear that they have a problem. Business owners are prideful, even when they're close to closing. If you guys never watched that uh, that show, The Prophet with Marcus Lemonis, please go watch it. Even watch Shark Tank. Like you'll see business owners on the verge of closing and they still got so much. You got to let them know. 
Yo, dude, y'all about to be some bums in a minute applying to work at McDonald's if you don't let us help you. Then you got to let them know. Okay, so we say if we sent you a five-minute demo clip showing this fix, how soon could you view it? All right, is a reason why I said this. Letting them know I my time is important too. So I'm trying to confirm that you're taking this serious. I'm not going to send this unless you're actually going to watch it. Then I let them know this is time sensitive. I want to know how soon could you view it? How soon could you view it? If you tell me you'll view it tomorrow, then I'll send it tomorrow. If you tell me you can view it today, then I'll send it today. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. I let them know that. So this is the perfect, and it's not even a long book. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a long book, didn't you? <laughs> this is the perfect example for uh, uh, you know how to turn a cold email or outreach piece into a hot piece or outreach piece instantly, right? All of these seven attention triggers, like, yo, this, this, this is perfect. If you guys did this with just 10 businesses, 10 businesses a day, technically a week for real, but I don't want to fluff you up too much, right? But if you did this with 10 businesses a day, there's no way, especially if you research their actual pain points, don't rush guys. What else you doing? Watching Netflix? Take your time and see their exact pain points. You can find people with pain points on directories. You can find people on with pain points on uh, um, classified sites. You can find businesses with pain points on um, uh, job board sites. Okay, hiring salesperson, hiring lead generation specialist, hiring reputation management specialist. You see them, they're, they'll air their, their issues publicly. You see people running Google ads. That's a pain point. Their competitors are clicking on their ads. Let them know that. I clicked on their ads. Let them know that. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay, now let's move on. Okay, so this is going to be a part of the email as well. Why? We want to show and prove, all right? It's better to show than to tell. Remember in the email example, I said, you're right next to wild party bus. This is legacy right here. They're literally right next to them. <laughs> Even though I was talking figuratively, I was talking about since they're both black owned party bus companies, but technically when you Google that, they're literally right next to wild party bus. But wild party bus is more known. Wild party bus has an actual website. Wild party bus has an actual presence locally. So there's a lot of things wrong. Okay, so check this out. You guys can go to the first pin comment. We're trying to help you stop getting clients, but get partners so that you can get equity in businesses that you never even paid for. So that you can get profit and uh, profit share in businesses that you never even paid for. How you can leverage their existing audiences. How you can leverage their existing email and uh, uh, um, SMS list and add 10 different different monetization methods, how you can get to six figures per month without having a lot of freaking clients. Who the hell wants a hundred people paying them a, a thousand dollars a month? You're getting more headaches. You're getting more jobs. Nobody wants that. So we show you how to, without adding a new client, <laughs> if you already got people right here, you can simply just plug in the 10 monetization methods plus the Cinderella equity that we teach you in there. And you can start getting money from day one, okay? So you've already seen the testimonials, but stop watching testimonials and become one.